What's good, people? Y'all need to pardon my light. I'm in my car. It's dark outside. But I just got something to talk about real quick. Now, this is some shit that I've just been through for the last three months. Now, I work at two different jobs, right? I work at two different food different spots. I got a food bar. Like, it's a buffet. Whatever they put out, that's what you get. And when, they, when it's low, they replace it. You can't come in there and expect them to give a shit about you getting special treatment. The other spot I work at is like a fast food chain. It's a high-end place that don't sell that much of something special. Anyway, that's not what I wanted to talk about. I wanted to talk about the fact that I'm a 30-year-old man, right? And I get into it with females. For the simple fact that I don't give a shit about what the fuck they talking about. This is literally what goes on. At my one job, I'm, I've been there for about five months, right? I'm kind of a manager in training, also just a regular employee, but an employee that do a lot of work and know a lot of shit, okay? So, but at the same time, I don't give a shit. So I'm not finna sit here and be happy-go-lucky and buddy-buddy with you. I'm be, I'm cordial. I ain't, I, don't, I ain't got no problem with you, but if you want a problem, we can have a problem. Anyway, this is what happened. So... I work with a, it's like we're in 2019, so we got a lot of uh, muff divers and people that think they dudes and ladies and dolphins and aliens. But anyway, I work with a muff diver, a dyke, a lesbian, whatever the fuck you want to call it, the bitch that that make think her strap real, whatever. That's not the point. <laughs> so uh, anyway, what had happened was I'm... This girl, she like 17, 18, something like that. She's a young, she's a child to me. So she uh basically, every time she can, she get tough with me. And every time she, I can, I respond. Now, it's like, I just respond. I don't be giving a shit, but the more you talk to me, the more I'm going to get pissed off. I'm already a high head, and I'm already mad before I even get out of bed. And it's not that I'm just mad. I, somebody pit like, what am I mad at? That's just me. I'm aggressive. That's how I put things. All right. So every chance you get, this bitch come at me sideways. And every chance I get, I respond. But I'm just responding. So instead of accepting the fact that I don't give a shit about what you're talking about, you go complain to the GMs and the managers and other employees instead of talking to the person that you got a problem with. Like, I don't I don't understand it. Like, you got a problem with me, say something. Because I'm going to say something back. It don't make a difference. Like, you tell me you don't like how I talk to you, and I'm like, I don't give a shit. You talking to me crazy. You say I don't, if, if you say, if I say I don't care, and you say I don't care either, I'm like, all right, shut up then. Stop talking to me. You keep talking to me, it's going to be a problem. Like, what the fuck you want? Like, you want me to give a shit about what you talking about? I don't. I'm not. So, basically, I'm kind of in trouble at my first job because of a young dyke that can't take the fact that somebody don't give a fuck about her feelings. Bitch, you still a child. That's what I'm saying. You're a child. You give a, You think somebody's supposed to give a fuck about you because your mama and them give a fuck about you. There ain't nobody else out here finna give a fuck about you, okay? I ain't your mama. I ain't your daddy. I don't give a good goddamn. Fuck you. Fuck your dreadlocks. Fuck your fake ass boots. Fuck all that shit. Fuck your pants. Fuck your fuck the fuck the pads you put in your fake boxer briefs. Fuck you. Fuck the fact that fuck your sports bra. Fuck all that shit, okay? I don't give a damn. 420 on the clock. But yeah, so that's the first job. So basically, I'm in trouble for basically saying, basically not putting up with the fact that somebody trying to do stupid shit to me. Because here's the other, here's the crazy thing. This bitch, like I said, the bitch is always trying me. Because like every, I got, I be selling weed every now and again. Look. Look, I'm not a drug dealer, but every now and again, because I smoke, I, I sell some weed. So I sold the bitch some, a blunt. You know what I'm saying? It's like you new age motherfuckers be trying to get point five for five dollars. Fuck wrong with y'all. That shit costs ten dollars, bitch. <laughs>
But anyway, so she was she get an attitude every time I respond to what the fuck she say. Stop saying shit to me then if you don't like what I say. So uh last week it was some shit about some buckets. Now look, mind you, I grabbed my bucket for my area. Don't come touch my bucket for my area. I went and got your bucket for you. And you still want to use my bucket. So, but at the same time, you walking past me, act like you about to swing on me. And then say, I'm in your way. I'm like, nah, cuz, no the fuck I'm not. You walk by me and act like you was finna swing on me. Fuck wrong with you. Stop playing. If you got a bucket of water over there, use that bucket. That water ain't hot. We'll take it to the back, put some hot water in it. Common sense. So I don't like how you talking to me. I'm like, and? Well, you, you shouldn't just did what you just did. You created the problem. You create, every time you do, every time you say something to me, you say it with an aggressive attitude, and I respond. I live like a fucking wolf. I live like an animal, like that, like, I don't play that shit. If I feel like I have to attack you, I will attack you. Don't come at me and then expect me not to do anything. You feel me? That's one job. Now, my other job, I work at a, uh, a place that serves a lot of food. It has a bar in it. You could come in, get your little buffet on. I wash dishes and I fry chicken in this motherfucker, all right? Blunt not even lit. I should have wrote another one while I talk to you motherfuckers. I'm going to get, I'm going to, after I record this video, I'm going to get on live and actually talk about this shit. So, uh, what had happened at my other job is, I'm at this, I'm going to wash dishes in the back, right? It's a heavy ass day and shit, you know what I'm saying? So, this one bitch, she walk in. She ain't ugly or nothing. She a little cute, little dark-skinned, big booty bitch. But she like 40 years old. She about 40. She don't look like it. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, she keep trying to talk to me. But here's the thing. I don't flirt. If I, can, if I can't holler at you, if I can't just toss you my number, I don't, don't want to do it. I, I don't feel like it. If, if you on that bullshit where... We got to go on all these dates and you got to pay a bill. I ain't got nothing to do with it because I ain't trying to pay you goddamn bills. I ain't even trying to be in your life that much. Like, we can chill, we can smoke, and if we wind up fucking cool. But don't be trying to flirt with me like I'm finna, oh, shit, here's my number. Let me get your number. Nah, fuck that. I don't want, man, no. Nah. If I want to holler at you, I'll just give you my number, B. Because I'm not going to fucking call you if you give me mine. If you give me yours. For what? I'm not interested in you. Anyway. Bitch, uh. My second weekend in that bitch, right? The bitch and her friend, little short, little thick thing. She ain't ugly neither. But at the end of the day, I'm not looking at none of you hoes. <laughs> So, here, I'm washing dishes and shit, right? All I hear is, I wonder what that tattoo say. Ask him what that tattoo say. Now, it's the tattoo I got right here. I don't feel like pulling my sleeve down. It say snow. I got a tattoo on this arm right here that say city. Snow. Supposed to be snow city, you know what I mean? So, uh, at the end of the day, she asked me what the tattoo say. I showed her. She on like snowman, like I'm, 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 I'm not trying to keep talking to you, but I'm not finna tell you that. I'm just about to ignore you. I don't feel like talking. I'm working right now, cause I don't got time to be sitting there. Well, hey, I'm gonna cut you off right there. I'm trying to wash these dishes. If you want to talk to me later, when it's when it's not busy or before you go home, cool. But right now, I need you to leave me the fuck alone. So you know that's how I say shit. She would get offended by that. You know what I mean? I already know she was, so that's why I didn't say anything. So they want to keep talking to me. The old girl like, is that your hood? Are you not from Ohio? Some other shit, blah, blah, blah. And I'm just like, they're like, don't be like that. I'm like, I answered your questions. I literally answered your question. 
You asked me if I'm from Ohio. I was like, yeah. You asked me, um, is in my hood? I'm like, no. Then you like, well, what it mean then? I'm like, nothing. That means it's it's nothing. It's nothing to talk about. I don't want to talk about it. You like, it only means something if you got it on your body. Now, by me just saying all that, it goes to show that this was about to be a stupid ass conversation, right? So every is like every day this bitch was this the the one bitch was always trying to start a conversation that I didn't care about. She said I look like the weekend. I don't look like the fucking weekend. I don't look like I ooh yeah, ooh yeah, ooh yeah. Nigga, I sell drugs. And I work. Fuck. <laughs> Fuck I look like, son. No, nah, I don't sell drugs, man. I'm just kidding. <laughs> so, bitch, like, every time she come in, I had my ponytail in. And then I didn't have my ponytail in. Oh, she, uh, she like, oh, you got your weekend down again because you ain't got your ponytail. I'm like, you got a rubber band? She like, no. I'm like, okay. They be looking, it's like, bitches be looking for conversation and we, but I'm short, I'm short and straight to the point. I don't got time to be detailed and detailed, detailed. You don't, I don't got time for all that. I don't want you to know me like that. I'm not trying to get close to you. I ain't even trying to fuck you, but if you want me to fuck you, that's what you got to say to me. Because if I tell you I want to fuck you, that's all I'm going to do. That's what people don't understand about me. I'm straightforward and straight to the point. If I want say I want to fuck you, that's every that's all I want to do. I don't want to be your boyfriend. I don't want to be anything more than a nigga that fucks you. I don't even want to be considered a friend. I'm cool, but I don't give a shit. Cuz at the end of the day, if you say you don't want to fuck with me no more, okay? I won't hit you up. And guess what you gonna do? You gonna miss me and you gonna hit me up and guess what's gonna happen? I'm gonna come fuck you again. And that's all I'm gonna fucking do. But anyway, <laughs> the bitch. This shit went on for three months. Like, the bitch would be leaving and she would say, bye y'all. I wouldn't say anything. She like, I said bye. I wouldn't say anything. Then she like, David. Wouldn't say anything. David. Wouldn't say anything. David, bye. Still wouldn't say anything. It's obviously I ain't trying to fucking talk to you now because I don't want to fucking talk to you. You ruined the goddamn moment. Because every goddamn day you saying some shit I don't motherfucking care about. Bitch, you like me and I don't like you and now your feelings goddamn hurt. So now your feelings hurt because three months I ain't said shit to and every time you talk to me I get an attitude because I don't fucking like you because every goddamn time, every time I don't say nothing to you, you ass say some shit under your breath to somebody else about me. Do you think I'm a motherfucking be cool with that shit, bitch? Huh? Huh? No. So she tried to talk to me when I was really pissed off the other fucking day. And then she making it seem like it's about her. It ain't about you, bitch. Nobody give a fuck about you, bitch. So then she gonna talk. She gonna call me weird right in front of me to somebody else. They ain't gonna say the shit to my motherfucking face. Because, God, because you know, you know I'm a problem. You can tell. You ain't got the balls to say shit to me. So now you afraid. You afraid. You don't know how I'm gonna react to you. So after she said that, I got petty, cause she kept as she kept saying I got an anger problem. So I started I started you showing my anger a lot more. I'm in that bitch slamming pots, slamming pans, washing shit aggressively. Had the other had the other nigga shook, talking about shit. Hey, when y'all come in here, don't talk to him. Talk to me, cause if he keeps slamming them pans and I get hit, I'm getting mad. Like. Like that matter to me, nigga. I'll beat your ass too. The fuck? 
fuck this nigga thought. <laughs> so, the bitch just, just, just wouldn't come to me and ask me the right questions. You want to start a conversation with me, but you don't want to have the right conversation with me. Now we and you got an issue, and you don't want to resolve it. You're not, you didn't come to me talking about, oh, you get an attitude. Why do you get an attitude every time I talk to you? You didn't come to me and say, why you don't say hi to me? You didn't come to me and say anything. You're not asking me what the problem is. Because I wouldn't have had no problem telling you, I don't like you. You annoyed me the, fir the first week I came in. You annoyed me ever since then. You're annoying to me. I don't like your vibe. You think you're a cool person, but you're a nuisance. <laughs> you're aggravating this fuck. You feel me? Like, y'all would have had to be there and see what's going on. Everybody looking at me funny because I'm ignoring her. Wondering why. Because she, like I said, she looked good. But they like, why is he so rude? Why is he being so mean to her? Why, get, why he ain't talking to her? Because most dudes want that, want that type of attention. I don't be giving a fuck. Nigga, I spend majority of my life in isolation. But at the same time, I done had so much fucking pussy. You think I'm starting a piece? <laughs> fuck about it, son. I just find that shit funny. That's basically, in a nutshell, what I wanted to talk about. I know I stepped off and said some other shit. But at the end of the day, at both of my jobs, I had an issue with a female. And the issue don't make sense. Because it's not that serious. Because when dude told uh, the old girl at my other job that I don't like her, that and I'm pissed off at her, she called the store and made a complaint about it. Talking about she don't understand why he got a pro why I got a problem with her. If you would have came and talked to me, you wouldn't have had to make a fucking complaint. Stupid. You only had two days a fucking week. So what's your problem? You act like you there all the goddamn time, you fucking child. You ain't got to talk to me. I don't want you talking to me. But at the end of the day, keep my fucking name out your mouth. That's the problem. You keep talking to me and you keep talking about me. In front of me. And behind my back. You like me that fucking much. You attracted to me that fucking much. You see the alpha in me and you don't understand why I'm not paying you no attention. Because look, you wouldn't, you wouldn't last with me, sweetheart. Females don't be understand what kind of nigga they fucking with when they fuck with me. I will fuck your life up. Sexually. I will fuck the shit out of you. And you will fall in love with me. You will lust. You got me fucked up. I'm going to put my dick all the way in your goddamn chest, okay? Hit you right here. You be gasping for air. Oh, oh, oh. That'll be you. Those your moans. Oh, 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 oh. But real shit. Like, bitches just don't understand, man. I don't be on none of that silly shit, bro. Like, it's just stupid to me. It's like, it's just real fucking dumb that I got to deal with shit that don't even make sense. I don't do shit to nobody. I stay to myself. But these hoes want to keep bothering a nigga because a nigga, you know what I'm saying? Like a nigga, a nigga handsome. I know y'all really can't see because of the uh, light and shit, but you'll be all right. Real shit though. Like at the end of the day, I'm about to get out of here though. Like literally, I'm at 19 minutes, so I'm about to get out of here in a second. I might as well let it get to 20. Yeah, it's like at the end of the day. I feel like bitches need to, like, understand that niggas is not like y'all. Y'all act like y'all don't understand that niggas is not like y'all. Niggas is not finna sit here and argue with you all damn day. Niggas is not finna talk to you all damn day. And when a nigga is not interested in anything that you're fucking saying, he's not going to say nothing. When he literally is about to be pissed off, he'd rather just not say nothing. But y'all like to poke and press and prod until you get a reaction. And then when you get the reaction you weren't, weren't expecting, you'll be shocked and appalled. How about you just leave a motherfucker the fuck alone? Shut up sometimes. Dang.